Welcome to Imagine It down here at Imagination Station, joined once again by Chief Scientist Carl Nelson. Carl, what are we doing today? We're going to talk about how light refracts or how it bends when it tra travels from one medium to another. There's this property called index of refraction. Okay, If you take the speed of light in a vacuum and then the speed of light in the medium, that's its index of, re index of refraction. For water, that's about 1.3. So what I just said there is that the speed of light is different in water right. than in air or in a vacuum. And that okay. is so air, air is one? Air is one okay. point zero 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 three, and a vacuum is one. Gotcha. So it's close okay. enough, yeah. right? So this, this is really cool. What I want you to try to do is do a little spear fishing. Go stand over here a little bit and take your sphere. And what I want you to do, now don't let the, the rod touch the water. You'll scare the fish. Your fish is this ball at the bottom. So I want you to line up using your eye, kind of like this, like sight down the stick, yeah. and I want you to aim right for the right for the ball at the bottom, Whoop. but don't touch the water. So aim for it, aim for it, and then go ahead and gently put it in. <laughs> and yeah, I can already tell that's not. You can see it's 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 way way off. We can actually see the effect of the water refracting the so light. I'm going to angle it. So from my angle, that is straight on, and that is nowhere close. Nowhere near close. In the, yeah, you can actually, yeah, you can yeah, see you it perfectly see in there. Right there. And even just moving it over a little bit, you can see how much of a difference that exactly. is. So, I mean, again, it certainly applies to spear fishing, <laughs> but this idea of index refraction and different speeds of light in materials also relates to, like, having glasses. If you need a really strong uh, prescription, if you have a really high index of refraction material, mm -hmm. you don't, the lenses don't need to be as thick. Okay, so come over here, check this out. Um, another thing that's really cool, when you talk about index of refraction, go ahead and hold this, you don't need that anymore. This no more spear okay. fishing. No more spear fishing. So, here is a, a pencil. Hold that up for the camera so they can see. Uh, if I put this in, does it look like it's kind of bent? Get, come back here. Uh, it does, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's almost completely off. You put it at a certain angle and it's like it's completely disjointed. Again, same thing as the spearfishing. The light is being refracted by this Wesson oil mm -hmm. and it is sort of, it makes it look as though the pencil is broken, although it's not. But if I replace the pencil with a Pyrex rod, check this out. <laughs> Gone. It disappears. <laughs> you barely see an outline just from my perspective, but from yours. I mean, look at that. It is just. So it turns out that the index refraction of Wesson oil and Pyrex is essentially the same, 1.47. And so the light rays don't get bent, and so you can't, I mean, you see, you could maybe see a little bit if you knew what you were looking for. Right, it's right? the tiniest bit. It's the tiniest little bit. And here, here's an example with water and oil floating on top. So look how much difference. Oh, now, yeah. now the, now the curved container is, is acting as a bit of a lens wow. or exaggerating the effect, but you can see how much that light is bent. In fact, over here, I've got a container of oil, but down inside, I have another container of oil, okay? And as you can imagine, inside this container, I have yet another container of oil, and the oil is pretty darn slippery here. But check this out. Like, it, it just, it, 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 they just disappear. <laughs> in fact, I got another one in there. And inside this one, I have another one. He got all these at discount in a set at Home Goods. <laughs> oh, and look, there's even another, there's a baby one what? inside. <laughs> I didn't even look know they that. that small, actually. Yeah, 10 milliliters, look at that. And you know, they just disappear, you know, when they slide inside there. If, if I, I yeah, wish I had ones with no thing printing. The only you see are the printing, Al. I wish I had ones without printing, because then, you know, but if you line up the printing on the side, look at that, it's just so cool. All because we've matched the index refraction, so there's no bending of the light. Is that not cool? That, yeah, that's <laughs> even more invisible. The sides are even more invisible than in the, uh, the Pyrex rod here. Yeah, you know, and then we can just put them all right back together again. And they're gone. And it's like nothing happened. Yeah, minus the lines, but I mean, whatever. Like that is just the coolest thing, that knowing that you got, you got several jars in there. Yeah, and there's some air bubbles, but matching the index refraction. Very cool stuff. Well, I'm glad that you, uh, he got his hands dirty, so I and you, uh, the good viewers at home, do not have to. Uh, I'm Dan, that's Carl, and that is how you imagine it.